Hello, what's up guys? It's me, CopDog, here, and today I'm bringing you five building tips for new Rust players in under five minutes. We don't want to waste your time here, but before we get in the meat of things, remember to hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out on the channel. We get to see what kind of videos you guys want to see more of, and you guys don't miss out on our content. We work really hard to make you guys this content, and hopefully you guys will get entertained by them. But anyways, hopefully you learned something new in this video. Let's just jump right into it. Step number one seems super simple. Make sure your whole base is upgraded. I don't care if it's wood, stone, metal, you name it, you gotta upgrade it, okay? Don't just place it down and leave a twig. I don't want to hear it being, oh, it's a basic bitch thing to do, say that, but I have gotten into so many bases on wipe day that are still twig in some parts because people forget or just don't, like, just don't upgrade them. And it just takes two arrows, is all it needs, and you get all the resources inside that base, so. Just remember to fucking upgrade your shit. I don't know. Number two, the lesson is do not make a giant base unless you're on a five times modded server or you're running an 1850 slave trade organization, which is feasible by the way. Do not make a big base. Not only is this expensive to maintain, but bigger groups will come after you. I love eyeing up the big bases because you know they got fat loot inside and it's going to be a fun raid on the way. Whether it's your reputation on the server or your loot, raiders will be eyeing up your base left, right, and center. So make sure to not make it unnecessarily large. We get it. You don't need to compensate for anything. You know what I'm saying? All right. And number three, and it sounds really simple, but start at the center of building bases. Many people make this mistake and sometimes veterans like myself always make this mistake. Uh, let's say you have a couple buddies on and you want to make a five by five base if you want to start start at the center one by one then three by three and so on and so forth the key to this is to make sure you secure your space without expanding too quickly so many times i've been caught putting down my wall that's made of twig and get shot at by some random ass ak or thompson or bow and it just it leads to a world of trouble so make sure you do that especially if you're in a hot zone or areas on the map where there's a large large groups of people normally located in the central near towns it's a safer option and it's really simple, so just do it. Number four, I don't, I cannot stress this enough. Remember code locks, okay? Code locks are so unique in the fact that you need to destroy them in order to get past them. So if you have the materials, put them on all of your chests. The reason being, it makes the raids in your base longer. If people are raiding your base, they're gonna have to break through all your chests, which does take time. And if they use explosives, it brings more people to the area and so forth. You can give yourself a chance to respawn if you have to break every single chest. If they have to do this, you will probably respawn in time to at least have one more defense on your base. And sometimes that's all you need. Also put this on the tool cover of your base, especially early in the game, because if an intruder breaks in through your, through your one door, and we'll get to that later, you cannot instantly gain access to it. This especially pertains to modded players out there. As the slash remove command which you know instantly removes certain walls or barriers or foundations uh generally works with the permissions of the tool cupboard sometimes it's with the owner of the placement but most of the time it's with the tool cupboard so make sure you secure that with a code lock number five the final one here for today make sure to build an airlock similar to how the space station sets up the astronauts from separating cells from you know space and their station uh, so setting aside a, a spot for a two-door access point is a hundred percent necessary now if you've seen any base that uh, that a new player start out with they usually only have one door there very easy if there's a door camper sitting right outside your base you, you remove the fact that he could get in by having this airlock it's like a, it's like insurance policy you know it's, it's another step and they also have to go farther in the base if they want to raid it so you know it's it's just good all around um it it's it sounds crazy but just put two doors down two doors is more difficult for people to break in crazy how that works uh oh bonus tip now this tip is not kind of kind of off script here i just want to say this real quick if you want to make your base the best more most formidable structure a fort if you will you want to make it equally difficult if they came from the top from a sidewall or from your front door if they have to spend the same amount of resources on each part of it, you've made a good base because this means that there's no weak points and it's very hard to break in. Honeycombing helps, but obviously making sure that your ceilings match your your side walls and your doors. If you want to have four doors, you're going to want to have like three layers of walls or honeycomb to, to kind of counteract that. So just make sure that your base is somewhat symmetrical or 
make it very difficult for them to break in from any direction, not just from the top or bottom. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. You guys are absolutely killing it while on the PvP tips video. Oh my goodness, we're like famous basically. So thanks so much for that. And as always, have a good one. Fine news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen.